Start with the hand. End with the hand. God is removing his hand so he can be seen. The cloud that lifted Jesus up is lifting me up. The watchtower mitzvah is God's way of saying, watch this. I was in jail for mistreating others, even though no one witnessed. God is a witness. Let this be a witness and the peace between all families of God. As God is our witness, we will not harm each other again. The stones, believers, of the witness heap are the stones that dried up the Jordan so all could pass over. The stones, believers, are to be a memorial forever. The witness heap, a heap of witnesses. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Every person has a physical and spiritual side. I have obeyed God even though I did not understand all that was happening. The holy fear I have is I am building the ark of the covenant of the Lord and God has trusted me to do it and I must obey what he says or be condemned. I am doing this to save the families of the world before there is utter destruction. God has shown me the things not seen before. We are all heirs to the same promise. The architect and builder of this city is God. The customs of Muslims are okay. I think they, the Muslim customs, are a little harsh but not bad. Cutting off body parts is too much. Non-followers are to be banished. If someone steals they are to be rehabbed. Murder is the only non-redeemable crime. The laws of man cannot do away 
with the promises of God. Receiving the inheritance of God is by promise, not by law. By the grace of God, go on. No law on earth can stop this. The laws of man do not apply in the kingdom. The laws of man handle transgressors in a faithless society. The laws of the kingdom are based on faith, grace, and mercy. Jesus is the promised one. I am. There is no mediation on this. There is only one way, God's way. Righteousness does not come by the law. Faith is being sure and certain of what we do not see. Now we see. Your birthright is to be in the kingdom of God. Nothing is worth losing it. No pleasure is worth going to hell. By birthright, we are all inheritors of the kingdom. We must diligently obey the voice of God. God has made us wait this long for our blessings because of our ungodliness. There is no more extensions on fulfilling God's promises. God promised a future time, and this is it. We will not marry outside of the kingdom. We will not treat our women with disrespect. If Jesus is God, what does that make me? God has made all things new through me. As God is our judge, we will not do anything to harm each other. We are not to transgress or cross each other. 